Twin Lakes is giving up 32 points a game. Rochester's giving up 12. Rochester, I think, has only had three people all year in ten in nine games that have uh, rushed for more than 100 yards, rushed or passed for more than 100 yards against them, and they're going to have their hands full tonight in the uh, the Twins, Bennington, and um, Goodlow as well at the fullback position. Like you say, the, the Bennington, both Bennington's, yep. Goodlow kids, sophomores. Uh, the other fullback we'll see in the game uh, tonight, uh, Page, is a transfer in. He is a senior. Yeah. Uh, one thing that Rochester wants to do, and a couple of uh, coaching uh, uh, coaches from the coaching staff, Rochester coaching staff says, what we want to do, the key to this game, is we have to start early and have to start often. Yeah, I think Rochester is going to need a game like they had against Whitco. They're going to need to get out and up early and quick and keep their foot on the gas for the entire ball game. Foot on the gas. Twin, exactly Lakes, right. Twin Lakes is big. Bigger than we are on the offense and defensive lines. They're quicker than we are at some of the skilled positions. And against North Judson last week, they trailed by 19 points at halftime and came back to win it by five. So you know that this team's capable of putting points on the board. And, and from what we've seen in a couple of their games this year, they're capable of doing it in a hurry. That's going to wrap up the Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance pregame show here on WROI. We are ready for the kick here at Twin Lakes High School. Fantastic night. Absolutely. It's gorgeous out. Perfect night for... Round one of sectionals. Some early scores already. Winnemac leading West Central 22 to nothing. And uh, Wabash leading Manchester 14 to nothing. Both of those games in the first quarter. Looks like Shireman and uh, Wyatt Johnson back deep to receive the kick from the Rochester Zebras. So uh, the explosive Twin Lakes Indians offense will hit the field first. Rochester ready to kick. Wilson Lee. Sends a low end over end kick down the middle of the field. and bounces at the 20. Checks up at the five and goes into the end zone. And there's a second touchback of the year for the Rochester Zebras. There was a huge mix-up back there by Shireman and also Johnson. They kind of looked at each other. The ball bounced right in between them. Fortunately for Twin Lakes, it took a Rochester bounce and bounced into the end zone. Well, fortunately for Twin Lakes, they got the last two rotations of the football. Yeah. That ball just about checked up on the one foot line. Hit about 101 yards, yeah. So Twin Lakes will start at their own 20, going to our right. And in comes the quarterback, uh, Blake Bennington, a 6'2 sophomore, and very, very quick for the Twin Lakes Indians. Well, and the Rochester defense better be on their toes right now because if they're not, it could be a long night for the Zebras. Caleb Page, it will be the uh, tailback as Twin Lakes will start in the pistol. Bennington in the pistol, takes a snap on the option, gives to Page. Page dumps by one defender and uh, carries a couple of other defenders for about a three-yard gain, maybe a four-yard gain. Nice uh, run by Caleb Page. He gets four. It'll be second down and six for the Rochester. I'm sorry for the Twin Lakes Indians. I'm going to assume they're going to hit that left side a lot. Their left tackle is 6'5", 265, and left guard is six foot two fifteen. Quick snap. Gives to Page again, and Page carries the ball out to the 31 yard line, and that'll be enough for a first down as he picks up seven yards for the Twin Lakes Indians. First and 10 for Twin Lakes of their own 31. Again, the Indians going to our right. Page stays back there, the tailback, right behind Bennington, who's in the pistol. Bennington in the pistol. Sets the line, takes a snap on the option, gives to Page again off the left side. Page falls ahead across the 35 down to the 36-yard line. And he picks up about five yards. It'll bring up second down and five for the Indians early on in this game here at Twin Lakes. Second and five for Twin Lakes. Indians have three receivers, two to the left, one to the near side. Now, all alone is Bennington, the quarterback, and he takes it right up the middle. And the quarterback keeper, design quarterback keeper, by the way, maybe a yard, it'll be third and four. And, that carry, and, and the quarterback, Blake Bennington, comes up limping on that left leg a little bit and then comes back to the, the huddle. I well, think that yeah. was Caleb Page that took the snap. Yeah, you don't want to see Page come up limping. He's one of their rotation fullbacks. And he comes out of the game as Bailey Rothrock, uh, Rothrock comes onto the uh, field. Big third down for the Rochester defense if they can hold Twin Lakes here. Good low is your tailback in the game now. Out of the pistol. Bennington pitches to and fumble the play. And then Goodlow gets it back. Nice Goodlow gets the pitch. And then... Uh, McLaughlin knocks it out of his hands, but Wilson. right there is good to, uh, good low to pick it up for Wilson, fourth down. Wilson Lee on the tackle for the Zebras, and uh, 
He's going like to lose said, yard, two yards. The ball bounced right back up yep. into Goodlow's hands. So it'll be fourth down, and on comes the punting unit for the Indians. Jay Heckethorn stands inside his 35, ready to get this punt from Hibbets. Fourth and a six for the Indians. Ball goes to the punter, Hibbets. He gets it away. Nice wobbly kick. Takes a Rochester bounce. And the Twin Lakes knocks it uh, from the 37-yard line back to the Rochester 30, but they're going to kill it at the 35 or 37, so that's where Rochester will start their first drive of the 2014 sectional portion of the season at their own 36. Ball the near hash, which is the Twin Lakes sideline, and we're going to our left now. Nice job of the Zebra defense. Yeah, yeah it was. Happy. And, uh, Twin Lakes kept it pretty, uh, pretty simple. Dive plays until they quit working, and then... Uh, they tried to sweep and were lucky to receive the fumble back. Bennett goes wide to the right side, wide side of the field. Flanker to the left is Heckathorn. Split backs for hunting from his 36 on the near hash. John takes a snap, pitches to Heckathorn going right. Heckathorn looking for the edge. Can't get there. Twin Lakes beating to the edge, and he's going to lose the yards. He's pushed back to the 35-yard line, so it'll be second and 11 for the Rochester Zebras. As not only are they big, but they're quick to the edge. They are, and they, they pursue that football very, very well. Rochester's going to have to do an excellent job up front on the line blocking, and then they're going to have to have some backs that uh, execute very well, hitting the hole quickly because they're not going to have a lot of time to dance from sideline to sideline. Under nine minutes to play, first quarter, no score here at Twin Lakes. Second down and 11 for the Zebras at their own 35. Hunting under center, eye backs behind him. John hands off to Hattishell up the middle. Jacob Hattishell hit right at the line of scrimmage. And falls ahead for one, so he gets the yard back that Heckathorn lost. So it'll be third down and ten for the Zebras. And it could be a passing down for John Hunting and the Rochester Zebras. Yeah, Blake Bennington, the quarterback for Twin Lakes, is also their defensive back who's been on Bennett both plays. So look for him to have a busy night tonight. Yeah. Third and ten for the Zs at their own 36. Twin Lakes has got uh, a lot taller personnel in their, in their <laughs> deep backfield than what the Zebras have faced most of the season. <laughs> Bennett comes wide to the near side. Back to passes Hunting. Rolls to the near side. Looking for Bennett. Throws it out over his head, incomplete, fourth down. That one sailed over Bennett's head, uh, probably about 10 feet, and that'll bring up fourth down, and West Beck on to punt the ball away for the Zebras. Well, the exchange, the ball here, the first couple of series, let the butterflies work out of your system. Yep. Now, yep, this is Beck's uh, 14th punt I think, uh, of the season. Yeah, right, right now, earlier in this game, it's more important for Rochester's defense to be on the right page than it is yeah, for their offense. Exactly. So West Beck stands inside his 25 to kick the ball away. It's fourth down and 10 for the Zebras. 8.15 to play in the first quarter. No score here at Twin Lakes. Snap to Beck. Very little pressure. Good Gets kick. a nice kick away. Takes a Rochester hop inside the 30. Twin Lakes picks it up at the 30 yard, the 20 yard line and is brought down to the 25. Nice tackle by Wilson Lee, uh, open field tackle on the near side. Then after the play's over, we have a flag. I'm not sure. Uh, Johnson, I believe, Wyatt Johnson was uh, the, the, re the return man. And on the uh, play, there was a flag that was thrown at about the 30 yard line. So is this gonna be a block in the back or a hold? Their officials have converged, yeah. they're talking. Twin Lakes is walking backwards. And they are walking backwards, you're right. So it will be a block in the back on the Twin Lakes Indians, so that will back them up. Well, we, we talked about penalties. We talked about turnovers and how costly they can be at this situation, this kind of a ball game this time of the year. And so far, both of those are working in Rochester's favor. First and ten for Twin Lakes at their own 15-yard line. Ball in the near hash. Good lows the tailback back there. He's uh, to the right of Bennington. First and ten. For the Indians, second series for Twin Lakes with eight minutes to play in the first quarter. Ball in the near hash, Twin Lakes sideline. Again, the Indians going to our right. Bennington to the pistol, takes the snap, gives to Goodlow. Goodlow shakes Hackathorn off. Goodlow then around the left side, shakes another tackler up the Rochester sideline. Gets across the 20 and very close to the 25, giving him the 24-yard line, a pickup of nine. Uh, wait a minute. Maybe they're going to give, yeah, they're going to give actually give him the 23-yard yeah. line. A pickup of eight will be second down and about two. Boy, good with, with uh, a couple of broken tackles there. The Zebras really need to do a better job getting their arms wrapped around him. Well, one of those tacklers was Jay Heckathorn. In the deep, in the backfield. Yeah. Second down and two for Twin Lakes. Bennington in the pistol to his left is Goodlow. Goodlow on the option. Gets the carry again, and he is met by a wholesale of zebra tacklers and driven back to the 20. 
Going to lose four yards. It'll be third down and five for the Indians. Again, Wilson Lee in on the stop. McLaughlin. As well as McLaughlin. I don't know who got there first. I don't know how to shell from the outside. I think Basham, there was Basham had the initial hit. Okay. Back to the 19. Third down and six for the Indians. Ever seven minutes to play in the first quarter. Caleb Page, the running back who started for Twin Lakes, is still on the sideline. He's sitting down right now. Yeah, getting, getting attended to, getting taped. Left he, ankle taped up. You're he right. He was jogging on the sideline. He'll be good to go soon. Three receivers, four, make that four receivers for the Indians. Two to the left, two to the near. Out of the pistol is Bennington. Good load back behind him. Back to pass is Bennington. Rolls to the near side. He's got some room. Throws it out. Complete. And his brother Bryce is brought down at about the 31-yard line. That's enough for a Twin Lakes first down. First down for the Indians. A nice rollout by Blake Bennington to his brother Bryce Bennington. First down for Twin Lakes. 12-yard pickup for Twin Lakes. First and 10 for the Indians. Now at the 31-yard line. Ball in the near hash. Goodlow still back there with Bennington. Fakes handoff. Bennington rolls to his left this time. Throws it out to the left. And it's picked off by the Sabres. That was, that Rochester picks it off at the 35. And that's Jay Heckathorn coming up with a big play. And so Rochester will start their second series at the Twin Lakes 35-yard line. Well, the ball was underthrown. And Jay Heckathorn did a great job of cutting in front of the receiver and diving to the ground to get underneath yeah. that football and make a great interception. I don't know if he caught it or not. I couldn't see it. All I could see was Coach Zaner over there <laughs> being a cheerleader. Yeah, the whole Rochester <laughs> sideline was jumping up and down after that play. So Rochester starts this drive at the Twin Lakes 35. Eye backs for hunting, two tight ends. Heckathorn wide to the right side. Here's the pitch to Hattishell. Hands off to Heckathorn. Coming uh, out of the near side. He's got some blockers. Heckathorn then is tripped up at about the 31. Great job by Bryce Bennington coming out of nowhere, stopping that play for a gain of only four, which could have turned out to be a great big play for Heckathorn. Yeah, it could have. Well, I'll tell you what. From our vantage point in the press box, we could see it coming. The only reason why it wouldn't have been a reverse is if, Hecath if uh, Hattishell faked and kept it. Yeah. But it was as if the entire crowd had a sign out here on the track because they were all yelling yeah. reverse. <laughs> and Bryce Brennison, like you said, came out of nowhere. Without him, that's a, almost a 20-yard yeah. pickup. Heck, so, in a lot of room. He got four. It'll be second and six. Bennett, uh, Bennett wide to the near side with seven on the play clock. Split backs for hunting. Heckathorn goes in motion to the right. On the uh, counter play, Hattishell gets it. Stiff arm at the 30. Lowers his head maybe to the 28. Not a lot there. Nice job by the Twin Lakes defense. Has a three-yard gain for Hattishell. Brings up third at about three for the Zebras. You know, something we were told by a couple of the guys here in the press box before we went on the air was they talked about how well They've played all season long early in the games. Yeah. In the first and second quarters all year long against teams like Rensselaer that's ranked number one in Class 2A, teams like West Central, West Lafayette, and uh, LCC. Third and three for the Zebras at the Twin Lakes 28-yard line. Ben, uh, Beck goes in motion to the right side, empties the backfield, hunting back to pass, throws out to Heckathorn. Heckathorn's got the catch, looking for the sideline, sl slips one tackle, then gets inside the Twin Lakes 25, and that's to be enough for a first down as he gets about to four yards in the pitch and catch. And I'm not sure, fellas, if you want to call that a, a, a pass or you want to call that a lateral, but uh, it looked like to me hunting through that backwards to Heckathorn, who then carried it upfield for about four yards. Val, what do you call that? A run? A run. Okay. okay. That's what I thought I'd call it as well. I'll change it then. First and 10 for Rochester inside the Twin Lakes 25 yard line. Heckathorn flanker to the right side. Bennett wide right. Short side of the field. Here's the pitch to Beck going right. Wes Beck up the sideline. Jumps over one tackler. Carries the ball inside the Twin Lakes 15. And it looks like enough for another zebra first down as that ball is going to be spotted right at uh, the 15 yard line. So that's going to be close to a first down. And it's going to be just shy, second and, and uh, about a foot or so for the Rochester Zebras at the Twin Lakes 15-yard uh, line. Ball in the near uh, far hash, that is, which is the Rochester sideline. Rochester going to our left, second and inches at the Indians 15. Quick snap. Beck goes right again. Beck hitting the backfield, driven out of bounds. You know, West of the 14, give yep. him a yard and enough for a zebra first down. West, West Beck knew what he needed. He only needed a yard. He knew he could outrun the defense to the sideline and get that yard. And so yep. as he came around the corner, contact was made, and all he did was just lean towards the goal yep. line, and he that lean was all he down. needed to get the first down. First and 10 for the Zebras at the Twin Lakes 14-yard line. Rochester, ball still in the far hash, comes to the line of scrimmage. They'll have two tight ends, one to each side. Split backs for hunting with Heckathorn, the flanker to the right side. Here's the snap. 
Hecathorn on the counter, goes left, looking for a block, lowers his head, pushes his way maybe to the 13, not a lot there. Boy, Twin Lakes doing a fantastic job up front, uh, winning the war in the trenches. Hecathorn maybe a yard, it'll be second down and nine. Yeah, they are doing a great job. Rochester just grinding it, grinding as much as they can to pick up every single yard. Four minutes to play in the first quarter. No score here at Twin Lakes. The Zebras, after the interception, has the football second and nine at the Twin Lakes 13-yard line. Ball in the near hash. Hecathorn split to the left side. Wide side right is Bennett. Here's a snap. Hunting throws to the back of the end zone for Bennett. He lunges for it, jumps for it off his fingertips, out of bounds. It'll be third and nine. Uh, Hunting throwing that to the back corner of the end zone, and uh, Bennett doing the best he can to get through. He was double teamed with the corner and the safety coming across on the top. He did a great job of just trying to get some space back in that back corner and the ball just off his fingertips. I think as Hunting was throwing the ball, his arm was hit a little bit, so he couldn't get a whole lot of touch on that. It ended up more, instead of a loft pass, yeah, yeah. kind of like a line well, drive. He had Bennett open briefly at the goal line, but with the coverage on the corner and the safety coming across the top, he had to throw it to the back corner, and Bennett just not able to cover that 10 yards and make the catch. Five on the play clock. Hunting back to pass over the middle of the field, looking for the end zone. Batted away at the last minute by Bennington. Blake, and it's incomplete, so that'll bring up fourth down to nine. If, now, if field goal team. If Hunting leads the receiver there, which I believe was Bennett, if he leads yeah. him instead of throws it behind him, it's a touchdown. Well, I think that time Bennett's running just a uh, drag to the middle of the field, uh, trying to get in front of that safety, which he did. But like you said, Hunting throwing directly at him rather than bringing him on across, that allows uh, Bennington to come in and swat that ball over his shoulder. Wilson Lee to attempt a 30-yard uh, field goal. Abbott's your holder. Fourth down and nine for the Zebras. Snap is back. Hold is down. Here comes the pressure. Gets it away. He's got plenty of leg. Does it go through? It does. Wilson Lee puts the Zebras on the board first with a 30-yard field goal. Zebras up 3-0. Three, 3.5 three to play in the first quarter. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. 3.36 to play in the first quarter of the Zebra strike first. Nine plays, 22 yards, capped off by Wilson Lee. 30-yard field goal attempt, which it was good. It's his first field goal of the season. Zebras lead 3-0 to with 3.36 remaining in the first quarter. Johnson and Shireman back deep to receive the kick from... Wilson Lee, Lee, high, end over end kick. Johnson takes it at the 20, bobbles a little bit, makes that at the 15, at the 25, the 30, bounces outside, caught from behind by the Zebras, and he pushes him backwards, shy of the 30. A pretty good return for Johnson of about 13 yards, as he returns it out to his own 28. Some uh, score updates, Tippecanoe Valley leads Culver Military Academy 6-0 early in that game. Winnemac 36 to nothing over West Central in the second quarter. North Miami 7, Southern Wells nothing in the first quarter. And Wabash over Manchester 14 to nothing in the first quarter. First and 10 for the Indians at their own 28 yard line. Ball in the near hash, they have four receivers. Two to the left, two to the near. Now Bryce Bennington will go wide to the left side. Out of the shotgun is Blake Bennington. Good low gets the handle right up the middle, good low. Down the left side at the 40, cuts it back inside at the 45, and then falls ahead to the 48-yard line. A nice run by the senior Goodlow, yeah. and he carries the ball out to uh, his 48, 49-yard line. Had to show him Beck, uh, showed blitz on the outside there. Goodlow just went right on the inside of them both, just missed Beck's reach, and had himself a nice little gain. 21 yards for Goodlow on the carry, and they're quick to the ball. At the 49 now of Twin Lakes, Indians, quick snap, throws it out to the left side, is complete. Bryce Bennington shakes a tackler. Still on his feet is Bryce pushing the pile ahead. He gets to the Rochester 31-yard line. Another first down for Twin Lakes. You know, we have seen that pass work a lot as uh, Bryce Bennington maybe two steps off the line of scrimmage. And his brother Blake fired it right into his bread basket. And he recarries it out to the Rochester 31. And quickly, Twin Lakes on the football. 3.07 to play. In the first quarter, the ball at the 30 of Rochester. You know, we talked about how quick Twin Lakes can put yeah. that ball down the field. Blake Bennington, the quarterback in the pistol. Good low behind him. Here's the snap. Another fake pass. Now rolls to the near side. Blake fakes the pass again. Shakes one tackler and driven out of bounds. Oh, boy. Oh. Uh, Beck's got to be careful. Yep, I thought the Rochester easily could have hit, uh, gotten a late hit out of bounds on Beck. Uh, Bennington did a great job faking the Zebras out a couple of times and getting out to the 29. Well, they got past Beck in the first place on that corner. And uh, nice job by Howdeshell and 
who is at uh, West Beck. Well, number Bennett. Okay. Kind of Sean Bennett on this side to keep uh, Bennington from getting downfield further. Second and nine. Quickly, the Indians on the ball. Blake Bennington looks at the sideline, has the uh, play. Good low behind him. Here's a snap. Quick throw to the near side is complete. Woo! Uh, co complete out to the near side to Roberts, and Roberts is hit hard by Howdashell. By Howdashell. Gain of one. It'll be third and eight. As a ball now at the Rochester 28-yard line. Again, Twin Lakes on the ball. Three receivers yeah. to the left, one to the near. Rochester really needs to stiffen up right here. Third down and long. Third and eight. Out of the pistol. Bennington on the option. Takes it right up the middle. Blake Bennington at the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Indians. And Blake Bennington, a 28-yard touchdown run. That's where Blake Bennington is dangerous. They flood the field to the far side. The Zebras pursue that direction on the fake. Bennington just tucks and runs the opposite way, and untouched from 30 yards. 2.22 to play in the first quarter. Twin Lakes now up 6-3 with the extra point coming. And quickly on his hibbets, right-footed kicker. Blake Bennington, your, make that page the holder. Snap his back, hold his down, kick us away. And it is good. In the Se next county. 7-3 Twin Lakes. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. 2.22 to play in the first quarter. Twin Lakes answers the Zebra scoring drive. Five plays, 72 yards, capped off by a Bennington 28-yard touchdown run. The PAT was good. Twin Lakes gains the lead 3-7 with 2.22 remaining in the first quarter. And Ryan Hibbets will kick off for the Twin Lakes Indians. Brad Thomas, Travis Watering, I'm David Musselman. 7-3, Twin Lakes on top with 2.22 to play in the first quarter. Back deep for Rochester. I'm going Heckathorn. To yeah, they've watched film. Don't give it to Heckathorn. I wouldn't think. Abbott back there, and also how to shell for the Rochester Zebras. But Hibbets has got a really nice leg. Has uh, all three returners inside the 15-yard line. Hibbets has the green light. Low and over in kick. Hops up to Bennett at the, uh, make that Abbott at the 15. Brett Abbott at the 25, the 30. Still on his feet at the 35, trying to shake loose a couple of uh, Twin Lakes tacklers and carries the ball out to about the 36, 37 yard line. So that's where Rochester will start this drive. Down by four with 2.13 to play in the first quarter. Well, Twin Lakes quick and very good at uh, the misdirection. Yeah, that, that, that quarterback keeper was a design quarterback keeper, yep. and uh, he had a huge hole to run through. He gave a little pump fake to the to the far side of the field and tucked it and took off in the opposite direction, and nobody even touched him. First and 10 for the Zebras. Heckethorn wide to the right side. Two tight ends, one to the left, one for the right to the Rochester. I-backs were hunting. John on first and 10. Takes a snap, hands off the how to shell up the middle. Jacob how to shell, ooh. Gets small as he gets through the line of the front line, crosses the 40 down to around the 41. So he picks up four yards, and that'll bring up second down and six. And, and getting small, you know, you're running with your shoulder square to the line. When he got to the line of scrimmage, he kind of turned them and got skinny, and uh, that uh, sprung him ahead for two or three more yards. Second down and six for the Zebras. Ball in the middle of the field. Bennett wide to the right side. Yeah. Kistler tight left. Flanker to the right side is Hegathorn. Heckathorn in motion to the near side. Eye backs for John. Pitches to Hattishell going to the near side. Shakes one tackler in the backfield. Hattishell spin move at the 45. And gets really close to a zebra first down. The spot on the near side is a 48. If that's the case, that will be enough for a zebra first down. And it will be. Give him seven yards. First and 10 for the Zs at their own 48. That was a good smart run by Jacob Hattishell. He uses a stiff arm to get around the corner past the line of scrimmage. And when he gets a couple yards downfield, a spin move gets him another five yards in the first down. First and 10 for the Z's at the 49. And they'll break the huddle wide of the near or the uh, flanker, or, I'm sorry, ball to the near side. And the short side of the field is Bennett, who's wide out here. Shane is tight left, Bennett tight. Uh, they got two tight ends for Rochester. Pitch goes to Beck, coming to the near side. Beck into Twin Lakes territory and is tackled out of bounds as he gets to the Indians 44. Looks like a gain of about seven yards. It should bring up second down at about three for the Zebras with a minute to play in the first quarter. Boy, it looked like up here, if West Beck didn't like to run into people so much, it looked like he had open field if he cuts back to the middle. No way he's a fullback uh, crying out yeah, loud. I think West Beck likes to run into people. <laughs> <laughs> Second and three for the Zebras at the Twin Lakes 44. Bennett wide to the right side. 
Split backs for Rochester. Heckathorn flanker to the right. Hunting under center, takes a snap, gives to Beck again right up the middle. West Beck with a uh, Indian hanging on his shirt tail. Carries the ball inside the 40 to the 39. And that'll be enough for a five yard gain and a zebra first down. Again, West Beck just one shirt tail away from breaking that for bigger yardage. Good job by the offensive line this drive. That left side with Whoa. Lane Coffin and Sam Adams. After one, Peru leads McConnick wall 14 to nothing. Wow. Whoa. It's kind of unexpected. I would agree with that. Of course, McConnick Hall and uh, Peru in the sectional with the Rochester Zebras as well. 40 seconds to play, first to quarter. On the counter, Heckathorn has a blocker. Oh, and yeah, hot oh. Yeah. And the ball's loose. No, it's a helmet. Oh, it is a helmet. I beg your pardon. A Twin Lakes helmet as Heckathorn carries the ball around the left end. And maybe ugh, not a lot there. Is they going to give him the 37 or the 38? Give him the 38. He picks up one. It'll be second and nine. 22 seconds to play in the first quarter. And Rochester's just going to let the clock tick away in the first period. After one. After one, the Rochester Zebras lead. I'm sorry, trail the uh, Twin Lakes Indians 7-3. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. Go to the second quarter here at Twin Lakes High School. The Indians leading right now 7-3. And Rochester, as we go to the break, uh, let's actually go to the second quarter, I said, should say, into the first quarter, looking down at about second down and nine for the Zebras at the Indians 38-yard line. Ball on the far hash, which is now the Rochester sideline. The Zebras going to our right. Bennett goes split to the right side. How to shell dots the eye. Flanker to the left is Heckathorn. Hunting under center. Heckathorn comes in motion to the near side. Here's the snap. How to shell gets the carry. Met in the backfield and dropped in the backfield. He's going to lose a yard. It'll be third down and long now for the Zebras. Third and about nine and a half or ten. As Twin Lakes blowing up the uh, front line of the Rochester Zebras. Yeah, those boys in the red are, uh, you know, just looking at them from the field without even reading the the uh, roster. You can tell they're a lot yeah, bigger they're than big. the Rochester Zebra players. And they replace one big one with another one. Yeah, so, you say they bigger. Averaging over 240 pounds across that front yeah. line, six foot taller, taller. Third down and about 10 for the Zebras. At their 39, from the shotgun is hunting. Heckethorn comes to make that how on the motion to the near side. Back to pass is John. Throws to the near side. It is complete, not incomplete. Complete. It had only been a gain of about two anyway. Nice coverage out here by Twin Lakes. And Roberts knocked the ball away from Heckethorn. It'll bring up fourth down at about 10, and on it comes a punting unit. Can you see a fake here being this? No. Boat? No. Nope. So fourth and ten for Rochester at the at the uh, Twin Lakes 39-yard line. 11-12 to play in the first half. Beck will kick this one from his 46. Johnson back deep for Twin Lakes as he stands inside his 10 at about the five. Beck picks the bobbled snap up, gets it away. Fair catch called for, and Johnson hauls it in at his own six-yard line. Leading 7-3 to three here early into the second quarter. Again, the winner of this game will get either Fairfield or Jimtown next week. Some think Fairfield might be the favorite in the sectional this year. Some think. Well. <laughs> <laughs> this year's sectional is probably about as uh, wide open. evenly yeah. matched across the board as it's been in a long time. Good low is your tailback in there. He's beside, behind uh, Bennington's in the pistol. Blake takes a snap, gives a good low. At the line of scrimmage, bounces outside, shakes one tackler, and is met at the 10 by Abbott and a wholesale of zebra tacklers. And actually give him the 11-yard line. They pick up a five. It'll be second down and five for the Indians. Well, good low does a really good job of making that first defender miss. And it was Heckathorn who made him miss, too. You don't see that very often. Yeah. A gain of five for Goodlow. It'll be second and five. 10.40 to play first half. Again, Twin Lakes up seven to three. Ball in the near hash. The Twin Lakes sideline. Two receivers go to the right. Wide side of the field. One to the near side. Goodlow behind Bennington in the pistol. Bennington takes a snap. Pitches out to Goodlow going right. Goodlow's got blockers in front of him. Goodlow in the middle of the field. Goodlow at the 30. The 35, the 40. Hecathorn tries to bring him down and finally does, but not until he gets to the Rochester 45-yard line. 
First down for the Indians, and a huge gain for Goodlow. Here's what I saw. As soon as he crossed the yard or the line of scrimmage, Schaefer had him, but he tried pushing him over. He didn't try to wrap him up at all. And someone like Goodlow, you got to be able to wrap up because how small and quick he is. 34-yard gain on that run play by Goodlow. He's already got his per-game average. Yeah. And we're just starting the second quarter. Ball at the Rochester 44. I believe Page is now the tailback in the football game. Bennington to the pistol. Takes a snap, gives to Page going right. Page runs away from Sam Adams. And is tackled shy of the 40, give him the 41. A pickup of three, it'll be second down and seven. Under 10 minutes to play in the first half. Again, Twin Lakes leading seven to three. Lane Coffin is the defensive lineman. McLaughlin. Here's a snap. Bennington on the option. Pitches out to Page. Page hit right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there. Schaefer there. Abbott was there. McLaughlin was there. Also, music was there for the Rochester Zebras. It'll be third down and about eight for the Indians at the Rochester 41. Well, this is third or fourth time Rochester's had Twin Lakes at a third and long. Yeah, last one, time it One of those times went for a touchdown. Yeah. So Goodlow back into the game. Third down and seven for the Indians. We'll send two receivers. Uh, we'll send two rec three receivers to the right side. Good heavens. Look at 44. And what is he, 6'6"? Six, six. Holmes wide to the near side from the pistol with 10 on the play clock. Goodlow back there on the option. Takes a pitch. And now pitches it out to Goodlow who fumbles it. Ball loose. There's a scramble for it. And it looks like Twin Lakes are going to get it back, but they're going to lose about... Two yards in the process. It'll be fourth down and nine. As Blake Bennington thought about keeping it, and as he was being dragged down, flips it out to Goodlow, who muffs it and loses, well, three yards. It'll be fourth and ten. And on comes the punting unit as Hibbets will look to pin the Rochester Zebras deep into their own territory with 8.15 to play in the first half. Twin Lakes leading 7-3. to three. Hackathorne back deep to receive the punt. Stands inside his 15. Snap goes to Hibbets, the punter. Gets it away. Nice spiral kick. Takes a Twin Lakes bounce and rolls into the end zone. Nice Touch job. Back. Nice job by Jay Hagathorn letting that roll. Well, you knew that it was going to bounce on the four or five yard line, and yeah. he's hoping, <laughs> yeah. he was hoping it was going to take a, a positive bounce and go into the end zone. Well, I kind of thought that's what the Twin Lakes receiver would have done on the zebra punt, was let it bounce into the end zone, but yeah. he chose to fair catch it at the five. and. I didn't think that was a very good move. I was glad to see Jay at least, you know, wait and see if that's right. going to roll in. So Rochester have it at their own 20, going to our right. 7-3 to three Twin Lakes. Eight minutes to play in the first half. Bennett split left. Flanker to the right is Heckathorn. Eye backs for hunting. John under center with 10 on the play clock. Takes a snap. Gives it to Beck right up the middle. West Beck. Still on his feet. Yeah, still wow. Pushing his way ahead. It gets across the 30-yard line down to around... The 33, I was I hesitated there because I thought the ball came out. And That's he gets it out to the giving the the 33 yard line. First down for the Zebras. Gain of four, uh, gain of 13 yards. That's the biggest gain from the line of scrimmage for Rochester tonight. Yeah. And it came from the fullback, West Beck. Yep. First and ten for the Rochester Zebras at their own 33. Bennett wide to the near side. Flanker again to the right as Heckathorn. Eye backs for hunting with 10 on the play clock. John. The snap, pitches out to Hattishell, coming to the near side. Hattishell, caught from behind. Gets it to the Twin Lakes 37. Gain of about three or four. Now, Hattishell's always been one of those kind of backs that uh, doesn't mind hesitating and, and, and waiting for his blockers to open up a hole as he stays likes to stay behind them until that hole opens up. But... Boy, tonight against this Twin Lakes team, he's getting caught from behind yep. from the backside pursuit. That's just how quick Twin Lakes is. Second and seven for the Zebras at their own 37. Under seven to play first half. Hunting under center. Bennett wide to the left side. Here's a pitch to Beck going left. Beck gets a block from Hattishell. Cuts it up field. Beck to the far sideline. Beck at the 40, the 35, and cut down inside the Twin Lakes 35-yard line. First and 10 for the Zebras. Okay, Great. no nope. run by Westpac. Here, here it is. 
if you're going to have a leading blocker, it's got to be quicker than the defense. And right now, that leading blocker is Hattershell, and yeah. he's clearing away for Beck. Well, Beck, yeah, I didn't see how, how many, where, where, where did we start on that one? I have 37. So 30 yards. First and 10 for the Zebras at Twin Lakes 33-yard line with 6.44 to play in the first half. Again, the Zebras trailing 7-3. The ball in the far hash, a Rochester sideline. Bennett comes wide to the near side. Flanker to the right is Hecathorn. Hunting, pitches to Beck going to the right. Beck uh, is going to be met in the backfield, shakes the tackler, still on his feet, still looking to get back to the line of scrimmage, and I think does so, but that's about it. He fought for everything he had just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, it's a good thing, too, because he was hit about four yards deep in the backfield, yeah. and he fought through about five tackles just to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Twin, Second and ten. Twin Lakes defense, here's what I've noticed. They, they switch out their linemen every two or three plays. No wonder why they're so fresh and fast out oh, there. Oh, yeah. But you're right, Muss. When, when we have a lead blocker that's as quick as our ball carrier, we have a much better outcome to our plays. Yeah. We, can't be, we can't be patient. we got to hit that hole full speed. Second and 10 for Rochester. Back to pass is hunting. Looks left, throws left. Has had a shell. Had a shell with the blocker, and that's Schaefer in front of him. Had a shell spins around, cuts it upfield. Maybe a yard, it'll be third and 10. Well, he set up the screen to the outside. Hunting did a good job of getting it over the outstretched hands of the defenders. Yep. And how to show a good job of catching that over his shoulder. Unfortunately, we didn't get the lead block out front, yeah. and the corner made the tackle. Actually, third and nine after a one-yard gain for how to show that screen play. Third and nine for the Zebras at Twin Lakes' 32-yard line, going to our right, six minutes to play in the first half. Twin Lakes leading 7-3. to three. Kistler comes wide to the right side. Bennett split left. Split backs for hunting. Beck comes in motion to the near side. John, back to pass. Throws out here to Bennett. Bennett behind. There's a lateral. He'll throw it to a wide open Hecathorn down the field. John, touchdown, Jay, Zebras. touchdown, Zebras. Nice job. It was a lateral pass to Kistler, and then Kistler hits Hecathorn in the back of the end zone for a touchdown, and the Zebras lead 7-9. to nine. There wasn't a defensive back 20, 30 yards to Hecathorn. He was all by himself. First time we've seen that play all year. Well, we've, we've seen it to Abbott. We've never seen yeah, it to, uh, to We saw Hottishell throw it to Abbott earlier in the year, and this year, this time, Kistler to Heckathorn for the touchdown. With 5.44 to play in the first half, Rochester up 9-7, uh, to seven, and Wilson Lee on to attempt the extra point with Brett Abbott holding. Snap his back, hold his down, kick his away, and it's no good. 9-7 Rochester, you're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. Back at Twin Lakes, Wilson Lee kicks a short end over end kick, taking it to the 22. Looks like Johnson has it to 22 across the 30, and cut down shy of the 35. In fact, giving him about the 34-yard line, so that's where Twin Lakes will start uh, this series. It's their own 34, Rochester now up 9-7. That scoring drive on the last uh, touchdown was six plays, 80 yards, and a Michael Kistler touchdown pass to Jay Heckathorn for 33 yards. The PAT was no good. Zebras lead 9-7 with five remaining in the second quarter. And, yes, I did say Michael Kistler pass. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lateral throw to Kistler. Well, it was a good pass because both receivers were wide open in the end zone. Just pick one and throw it. The so good loads of tailback behind Bennington, who's in the pistol formation. Here's the snap. Good load takes a carry up the middle. Good load right up the middle. He is caught, but not before he carries the Zebras and the football into Zebra territory down to the 46. Another huge gain for Goodlow and another first down for the Indians. Another 12-yard carry for Goodlow. Boy, he just tearing up this Rochester defense. Yeah. Too many people trying to tackle the football while he's running for 10 yards downfield. Four receivers, four twin legs. Bennington out of the pistol, gives to Goodlow again going right. Shakes music in the backfield. And he is caught in the backfield, but however, his momentum carries him across the Rochester 45 to the 44. A gain of two, it'll be second and eight with 5-10 to play in the first half. Rochester leading 9-7. to seven. Goodlow already with 74 yards in this football game. Second down and eight for the Indians, and they're back on the football. From the pistol, Bennington takes a snap. A quick throw to the near side to Holmes is complete, and Holmes is cut down by Hunting as he carries it to about the 44. Give him two more yards. It'll be got third down. Uh, sorry, give him the 43. It'll be third and seven with 4.45 to play. 
Holmes, their, in the first half. Holmes, their tight end, is a 6'5", 230 receiver. Yeah, he is a he's large, also their, huge. He's also their defensive end. Yeah, he's a big boy. Third and seven for the Indians. They'll send three receivers to the right side. Holmes is the wide out to the near side. Out of the pistol is Bennington, Blake Bennington. Goodlow behind him with five on the play clock. Here's a pitch to Goodlow going right. Goodlow turns sideways. Points his shoulder pads at the end zone. Carries it upfield. Picks up eight yards and an Indians first down. Giving the 35 and a half yard line of the Rochester Zebras and a first down for the Indians. 4-10 to play in the first half. Rochester up 9-7. to seven. And the ball in the far hash. Indians kind of huddle up that time, but quickly on the football. Three receivers. Three to the wide side. One to the short side for the pistol. Goodlow gets the uh, carry. Bounces off to a couple of tacklers. Gets to the outside. And is tackled at about the 32-yard line. Gain of four. Second down and six for the Indians. I tell you, whenever Chris Goodlow gets the football, all you see are red jerseys in front of him. Yeah. Those white jerseys just tend to kind of disappear amongst the red. If he is touched, it is not in the backfield. <laughs> Maybe in the line of scrimmage. Yeah. But nine times out of ten, he is uh, a yard or two up the field before he's even touched. Good low still your tail back in the backfield. Behind Bennington, who's in the uh, pistol formation. Four receivers with five on the play clock. Gets a snap. Bennington keeper right up the middle. Blake Bennington brought down by Wilson Lee as he carries the ball inside the Rochester 25 down to the 22. Pickup of 10 and another Indians first down. Now that time the entire Rochester defense went with Goodlow to the left and Bennington just keeps it and goes straight up field. Rochester will take a timeout. 3-13 to play in the uh, first half. The Zebras lead 9-7. You're listening to Zebra Football 92.1 WROI. 3-13 to play. In the first half, the Zebra's up 9-7, to seven, but uh, Twin Lakes putting together a nice drive here as after the Rochester timeout, they'll have it first and 10 at the Zebra 22. Brad Thomas, Travis Watering, I'm David Musselman. Ball will be on the near hash. Twin Lakes going to our left. Jimtown uh, 7, Fairfield nothing at the end of the first. Huh. Uh -huh. That should be a fairly good ball game. Goodlow's had a fantastic first half of the Indians. The tailback. Brian Bennington, who's in the uh, pistol formation. Four receivers, two to the right, two to the left. Hand off to Goodlow right up the middle. Grabbed by the shirt tail by Schaefer, but he still gets inside the 20, down to around the 17, 18 yard line. We had two defenders in the backfield that time converging on Goodlow. He splits them and still gains three yards. Give him the 18. It'll be second down and six. Quickly on the ball, the Indians. Here's a snap. Good low gates get again. Left. Good low this time. Caught in the backfield and dropped. Jordan Schaefer on the tackle. McLaughlin as well. Holding on for dear life. Yeah. <laughs> and he's going to push him back to the 19-yard line. So he's going to lose a yard and bring up third down at about seven for the Indians at the Rochester 19-yard line. 2.25 to play first half. 9-7 Rochester. Three receivers will go to the right side of the field, which is the wide side for the Indians, one to the near. Blake Bennington in the pistol formation with Page to, uh, behind him. On the option, Blake Bennington wide will keep open. it, goes left. Schaefer, shake, shake Schaefer's tackle, gets around the outside, and is spun down right at the line to gain. Well, how to, was it how to show? Yep. Looked like he was dancing with him out there, spinning him in a circle. No, how to show is the one that knocked him to the ground. Wilson Lee out there just spinning him in circles. Give him eight. And at Twin Lakes first down, first and 10 of the 12. Two minutes to play first half, nine to seven Rochester. The Indians knocking on the door here. Your tailback is Page. Bennington gets a snap. He'll keep it going around the right side. Blake Bennington looking for the end zone, untouched in the end zone. And Twin Lakes leads again. That time Page, or Blake Bennington, like David said, just keeping it around the right end. Nobody there but red shirts in front of him, and he takes it into the end zone. 1.45 to play in the first half. Indians back on top of 13 tonight, and Hibbett's on to attempt the extra point. Pager holder. Snap is back, hold is down, kick is away, and it is good. 
14 9 Twin Lakes. You're listening to Zebra Football 92.1 WROI. A minute 45 to play in the first half. Twin Lakes back on top, Trev. Yeah, 10 plays, 66 yards, capped off by a Blake Bennington 12 yard touchdown run. The PAT was good. Twin Lakes regains the lead 13 9 with a minute 45 remaining in the first half. What's disturbing on that run, Brad? Bennington from 12 yards out wasn't touched. You're right. And that was not the only run of that drive where. Um, you know, they were picking up 10, 15 yards before anybody touched them. Yeah. So Twin Lakes back on top now, 14-9, to a minute 45 to play. In the first half, Zebras have two timeouts left. They will get the ball first coming out of the locker room. Hard to believe the basketball season starts on Monday. Practice does. Yes. yes. First game for the Lady Zebras, November 11th. They will be here. We will also be here for that basketball game. That makes me a little nervous. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get used that to it. That makes me a lot of nervous. <laughs> Get used to it. Four more years of uh, this <laughs> Muss and his kill switch. <laughs> That's about right. Hibbett's nice end over end kick. Abbott, it checks up. It stays in bounds. Oh, unfortunately for Rochester, goes out of bounds. It just does creep out of bounds. And so there's a... Uh, Flag on the play. Yowza. I think Abbott was looking at that. If that thing checks up at about the oh, eight-yard yeah. line, please go to bounds. Please go to bounds. <laughs> He's going to get on his knees and start blowing it out of bounds. <laughs> Coming up at halftime, we'll take a uh, listen to the week that was, a couple of the volleyball scores, and f in including a fantastic first-round sectional win for the Rochester Lady Zebras. Uh, last night, Mishawaka Marion. Val will be along to uh, talk to us about that. Uh, Rochester is going to make, make Twin Lakes kick. kick off again. Well, they want they want how to show yeah. a Hackathorn to have a yeah. shot at the return of that ball. I didn't think, you know, ben, uh, Abbott the last time had a pretty good return, about 15 or so yards, and uh, hopefully not as explosive no. as Hackathorn. You're right. And they have switched sides now. Abbott on that kickoff is on the right side. Now he's on the left side. Hackathorn has switched positions. Now he's on the left. Right in the middle is how to shell. I could see uh, if Bennett, or Bennett, if uh, uh, Abbott or had, had a shell get the ball, I could see a reverse to Hecathorn on the outside. Well, apparently that's what's going to happen here. We'll see. So they'll kick well, Twin Lakes this time from the 35-yard yeah, line instead Austin, of the 40. Austin Oliver, a sophomore, another one of those sophomores for Twin Lakes that is having an exceptional year. Peru is still up 14-7, to but for the fourth consecutive series have fumbled. Fourth? Fourth time in a row. Caston leads Seeger 12 to nothing in the second quarter. There's a kick down the field over the head of Hattershell. Takes a bounce, takes another bounce into the end zone. Touchback. Well, the Zebras are going to get it on 20 one way or another. This, this young man is a sophomore as well, fellas. That's what I said earlier, yeah. Yowza. So it'll be first and 10 for the Zebras at the 20. They need to go 80 yards. In a minute 45 and two timeouts. Brad Thomas, Travis Watcher, I'm David Musselman. Game one of the Class 3A sectional. Winner of this game will get Fairfield or Jimtown next week. And that is Jimtown leading Fairfield 7-0 to zero right now. Yeah, uh, getting close to the end of the first quarter. Two receivers for Rochester. Due to the near side, eye backs for hunting. John under center from the 20. Pitches to Hattishell. Fakes the handoff to Hackathorn. He keeps it coming around on the wow. near side. He's got a blocker in front of him. Cuts it back to the middle of the field. Hackathorn at the 40. Hackathorn at the 50. Down the near side line to the 40. The 35, the 30. Cuts it back inside. Still on his feet at the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Zebras! Great job Incredible. by the entire Rochester Zebra offense. Hattishell had a fantastic fake on the reverse. He not only faked the handoff, he turned around and looked backwards like Hackathorn had it. And then he turned his head towards the goal line and took off. Twin Lakes had nine guys going towards Hecathorn on that fake reverse. And Rochester back up 15-14 in the extra point. Extra point? Or are we going for two? Uh, I don't know. 80 yards for how to show on I that say, touchdown. I we're going to two. We're going to chase the point. So two yards. Uh, we're going to go for two of the Rochester Zebras. 15-14. Rochester, a minute 29 to play. That took 16 seconds. And Bennett will go split to the right side. Abbott is a flanker to the right side out of the shotgun is Hunting. This is an odd formation. I haven't seen this yet this year. Hunting with Hecathorn. Uh, make the out of shell. Goes in motion. Fakes a handoff. Steps up. Steps up. Throws to the end. Good. 
to Hegathorn. The two-point conversion is good. 17-14, Rochester, you're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. A minute 29 to play in the first half, the Zebra's back on top. One play, 80 yards, about 15 seconds taken off the clock. It was a fake reverse, had a shell for 80-yard touchdown run. They went for two, two-point conversion was good, which was hunting to Hecathorn. Zebra's regained the lead 17-14 with a buck 30 remaining in the first half. But you said it, Trav. <laughs> There's a buck 30 remaining yeah, in the first three half. timeouts. Yeah, yeah was watch out. out. So Wilson Lee on to kick the ball away. Shireman and Johnson back deep. Here's a little squib right up the middle of the field. Takes a hop, a high hop, and Twin Lakes Smart. feels it, downs it at the 32. So that's where this drive for Twin Lakes will start uh, with Rochester back up 17 to 14. The minute 27 to play in the first half. Well, Again, Twin Lakes all three timeouts. Yeah, Goodlow already with 88 yards for the for the Indians and Blake Bennington, the quarterback, already with two rushing touchdowns and 57 yards of his own. So yeah, I don't think that I would. I don't think that I would go away from rushing the football. I don't both. either. Those those two guys have been tearing it up rushing the football. And they've had multiple uh, double-digit runs tonight. Yeah, and we'll say it one more time. Run to, run to the sidelines. Ball in the near hash. Indians will send three receivers to the right, one to the near side. Goodlow, who's had a fantastic first half behind Bennington in the pistol. On the option, Bennington will keep. Cuts it upfield. Bennington rode down then at the 35. A pickup of three. It'll be second down and seven. No timeout used yet. Clock runs with a minute 15 to play in the first half. 17-14 Rochester. Content to let the clock run. Nor uh, Twin Lakes on the football. A minute eight to play in the first half. Rochester up by three. Down to 60 seconds now. Bennington to the pistol. Good low behind him. Pitches to Goodlow coming to the near side. Goodlow's caught in the backfield and dropped by Schaefer. Nice job by Jacob Schaefer that time. He was not going to allow Goodlow to give him the hand and push him away. I'm sorry, that was McLaughlin who brought okay. him down. And now Twin Lakes will use a timeout. 47 seconds to play in the first half. Rochester up by three. We'll take a 30-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. After the Twin Lakes timeout and a five-yard loss, they're looking at third down and five from their own 30-yard line. Four receivers for the Indians. Back to passes. Bennington. Pump fake. Down the near sideline. He's got his brother Blake. Uh, Bryce complete down the near sideline as he lays out for it and brings it in at the Rochester 36-yard line. And that's a first down for the Indians. A great pump fake on a uh, stop and go, a hitch and go. And Bryce wide open down the near sideline. If he hits him in stride, he's going to the house. 35-yard pickup on that pass play. And Bryce dove for it in order to make the reception, and I'm not sure he really needed to, but it looked good. Bennington fakes a tackler, throws it down the near sideline, looking for his brother again. Bennington on the coverage. It is complete. Complete inside the 10 to the 8. Bryce, another big catch, a fantastic catch. It'll be first and goal for the Indians at the Rochester 8-yard line of 29 seconds of play in the first half. 21 on that pickup. I think Bryce Bennington was coming into this game averaging 40 yards a game. I think he's averaging 40 yards a catch tonight. <laughs> Two timeouts and 29 seconds to use for Twin Lakes at the Rochester 8. Bennington gives to Page. Page at the 5. Second ever looking for the end zone. He's pushed backwards at the 3. And now Twin Lakes will use another timeout with 23 seconds to play in the first half. It'll be second and goal from about the 3-yard line for the Indians. Rochester up by 3. We'll take a 30-second timeout. You're listening to Rochester Football. 92.1 WROI. Back at Twin Lakes High School, Rochester up 17 to 14, but Twin Lakes has it second and goal from the four with 23 seconds to play in the first half. Uh, Twin Lakes down to their uh, final timeout. They've got one left. Boy, with what they have just, what, have, what I've just seen, they've got plenty of time. Oh, absolutely. Good low is your back. And also Page is back there as well. They'll run out of the eye. Under center will be Bennington. Everybody in tight, one receiver to the right. Bennington. Hands off to Page. Page lumps, leads over the pile. Gets in across the goal line. Touchdown, Twin Lakes on a four-yard touchdown run. And just like that, Twin Lakes retakes the lead. We talked about how quickly they were able to put points on the board. And they showed it there in just a little over a minute. 20 seconds to play in the first half. The Indians go back up 20-17 to 17, and the extra point coming. We said minute 29 is too much time, and yeah. what do you know? Be nice to see what happened in Whitco happen here. 
The extra point coming. Snap is back. Hold is down. It's away. Going to bounce off the school. It's good. 21-17 <laughs> Twin Lakes. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. 19.8 seconds to play in the first half. Twin Lakes back up. Six plays, 68 yards. Page with the four-yard touchdown run. The PAT was good. That did, in fact, bounce off the school. Twin Lakes leads 21-17 uh, with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Two fantastic catches by Bryce Biddington. Yeah. All on this near sideline. Bryce Bankton's got 90 yards reception on four catches. Yeah, a lot on that drive. Well, 35 and a 21. 56 on that drive alone, <laughs> back to back. <laughs> so Hibbets will kick off, looking for another touchback. To well, the only, he misses it. the only thing that can trump that would be a Heckathorn kick return. We saw that about two weeks ago against Whitco. Hibbets, he missed it. Short end over end kick. Abbott takes it at the 10, hands it off to Heckathorn going left. Hecathorn right up the middle. Hecathorn then is brought down. Nope. No. Still oh, off. Oh, still on the feet. Side Running line. through people. And he takes it out to the 50-yard line, but nine seconds to play in the uh, first half. Rochester will take over at midfield as he was grabbed at the 40, spun around and shook a tackler and gets it out to the 50. So Rochester will have one opportunity, well, maybe two here, with nine seconds to play in the first half, down by four. Well, John Hunting is... One for five for one yard passing tonight. It has not been very good. Brett, Brett Abbott's in the game. We all know his arm might be a little bit stronger than Hunting, so watch for a double no. pass or something. Actually, it's first and ten for Rochester. They're 0-49. They've got uh, four receivers on the near side. One to the far. Out of the shotgun is Hunting. John takes a snap, low snap, steps up, throws left. It is incomplete through the hands of Hattershell. And six and a half seconds to play in the first yeah, half. That was a rocket from Hunting. Only about seven yards yeah. downfield to Ottershell and right through his hands. Obviously, they're going to kind of run that clear out where every, all the defense is pulled to this side with four receivers and give it to Ottershell on the far side. Well, he was well covered, too. I think even if he catches it, he's not. Uh, he's got to make a quick move to the sideline. I don't know that he outruns or gets away from anybody. Second down and ten. Six and a half seconds to play. Here's the pitch to Ottershell. Fakes the handoff to Heckathorn. Hattershell around the near sideline. Hattershell is tackled at about the 38 of Twin Lakes, and that'll do it for the first half. And there's a flag in the play, holding everything. There's a flag in the play as Bennett gets up slow, holding his midsection. Uh, we'll see what this flag is. Twin Lakes thinks it's against Rochester. Could very well be for a holding. And it will be. That'll probably be declined. It will be. We're at halftime. At halftime, Twin Lakes leads 21-17. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. Right. Here we go, third quarter at Twin Lakes High School. Again, the winner of this game will get uh, either Fairfield or Jimtown coming up next week. Jimtown yep. leading at halftime? 14-0. Yes, oh, yeah, 14-0. Yep. Okay. Rochester will start the second half with the football. Um, what concerns me here a little bit, fellas, is both Rochester's scoring plays come off some kind of a trickery. Trickery, yep. You have the halfback, what was it, a halfback pass? Or well, a tight end pass, Tight really. end pass, yeah. and that... An oh, an onside onside kick kick. Kick. The Zebras cover it up. Great job by Lane Coffey just to yeah. grab that ball and go straight down to his knees. Really caught the Zebras off guard on that. Great call by Twin Lakes. Oh, that's off guard. Yeah, <laughs> fortunately, Lane Coffey was on the ball. Well, wow. Well, fortunately, it was kicked right to him. <laughs> that too, yeah. I mean, if they had to chase that. Yeah. Uh, so good heads up play by Lane Coffey. Great job of fielding the ball, and he didn't even try. To, to pretend, to come to pretend on. that he was a fullback. He just got his hands <laughs> on it and went straight to his knees. So the Zebras will start at their own 49, down by four. Hunting under center with two flankers. Hecathorn in motion to the near side, gets it on the jet sweep. A quick hand, uh, reverse to Hattashell. Hattashell looking for some room to run, and even on the reverse, he only gets it out to midfield in one yard gain. Well, again, Hattashell running just kind of... Dancing so three-quarter speed, yeah. maybe at most, just waiting for some blockers out front, and that allows the Twin Lakes pursuit to come all the way across the field and keep stringing it out towards the sideline. Second down and nine for the Zebras. I think if Hattishell just turns on the Jets and runs to the sideline, he gets there before yeah. anybody else, and then he can turn it upfield. Ball to midfield on the far hash, which is the Rochester sideline. Rochester going to our right, down by four. Split it, a bit of split to the right side, and now Rochester's going to have to burn a timeout. We'll take a 30. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. Rochester has burned their first time out of the second half. They're looking at second down and nine, going to our right. Ball at midfield, Trav. Yes, yeah, some score updates. Um, 
Winnemac 50, West Central 0. Last I heard, Wabash 14, Manchester 0. Valley 13, CMA 6, Peru 14, McQuarnock Hall 0. Jimtown 14, Fairfield 0. North Miami 7, Southern Wells 14. Second and nine. Back to passes hunting. Looks to the near side. He's got Bennett on the slant. It is complete. Bennett shakes a tackler and then is brought down at about the 20. Boy, I thought uh, there could have been a pass interference yeah. there on uh, Bennington, but nice job by uh, Bennett keeping his eyes on the football and returns or gets it down to the 21 yard line. A pickup of 29. 29 yards. Yeah, first and 10 for the Zebras. Boy, they needed that. And that slant was yeah, there. Yeah, again. Absolutely. We've been talking about that all year. All year. That's really the first pass play besides the one that Kistler threw. That's the first one that Hunting has thrown. <laughs> that's well, you don't see that all year. No. A lot, do you? This year. <laughs> Here's a play to pitch to Beck. Beck goes to the left side. Beck lowers his head, cut down right around the 15 yard line. So it'll be second down and about four after a six yard run for the Rochester Zebras at the uh, Twin Lakes 15. Nope, give him the 16. It'll be a five yard gain, it'll be second and five. For those following the World Series right now, the Kansas City Royals lead the Giants in game three, one to zero in the top of the third. Second down and five for the Zebras at Twin Lakes. 16 yard line, flanker to the right is Heckathorn. Here's a snap, Hattachel gets it right up the middle and he's caught and ripped down from behind. No gain, it'll be third and five. Things are gonna be tough on Hattachel until we can get some something opened up with the passing game or with Westbeck or Heckathorn. Well, what was Westbeck's stats in the first half? 66 yards. See, I'm seeing he had some good runs, I'm waiting yeah. for them to go back to him. Yep. Third down and five for the Zebras at the Indians, 16-yard line, 21-17 Twin Lakes, 10-20 to play in the third quarter. Rochester breaks the huddle, will send uh, two tight ends, Bennett to the right, Kistler to the left, down to 10 on the play clock. Wide out to the left is Heckathorn. Here's a pitch to Hattachel, gives off to Heckathorn. Heckathorn's going to pass, looks in the back of the end zone to Bennett, steps up, touchdown <laughs> Zebras! Great he threw job. it short, Bennett came back to grab it, and the Zebras back on top. Wow, another great job on the double pass from the Zebras. Whoa. And you know, you start to wonder now, every one of Rochester's scores <laughs> has come off some kind of a trick play. Double reverse, halfback pass. When's just a regular touchdown gonna happen? Uh, well. Do we need it? <laughs> not at this point, I guess. <laughs> so the extra point coming for Wilson Lee with 10.07 to play in the third quarter. Snap is down. Kick us away, and it is good. 24-21, Rochester. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. 10.07 to play in the third quarter. Rochester's back up. Yeah, five plays, 51 yards. Another trick play by the Zebras, which was a Jay Heckathorn touchdown pass to Gavin Bennett for 16 yards. Zebras regain the lead, 24-21, with 10 minutes remaining in the third quarter. And so Wilson Lee will kick off. Yeah, we got all sorts of quarterbacks on this team. Well, we need the defense to step up. Wilson Lee, short ender over in kick. Johnson takes it to the 19. Johnson to the 25. Stops, hesitates, accelerates, and brought down shy of the 30. Nice job by the Zebra kickoff team. <laughs> Here's what's funny, fellas. Here's what's funny to me. Everybody's going down the field to, to, to tackle the, the returner. Not Wilson Lee. He's taking a knee. As soon as he kicks that bad boy off, he's taking a knee at the 45, changing shoes. <laughs> I mean, we've got 10 guys we trying to tackle yeah, so, one person. So if somebody from Twin Lakes would break one, Wilson Lee's going to have to run one in his bare footed. sock. That's right. In his bare sock to That's make right. a tackle. <laughs> <laughs> Wilson Lee has a lot of confidence in his other players out there. First and 10 for the Indians at their own 28-yard line. Rochester up 24-21. to Goodlow in the backfield with Bennington. Goodlow gets the carry right up the middle. Goodlow spins around and spins away from a couple of tacklers. Still on his feet. Oh, 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 oh. Zebras have it. Heckathorn. Heckathorn recovered it. Yes, Rochester's going to get it at the Twin Lakes 36-yard line. Goodlow wow. had a nine-yard gain. And right at the end, as he's coming down, he is stripped. It bounces out of his hands, takes one bounce. Heckathorn right there, bounces right into his belly, and he recovers it. Well, we were just about ready to comment again on the great run Two. from Goodlow. Heckathorn bounce had forced the fumble and then received the fumble. Southern Wells leads North Miami 29-7 to now. So here, a big break by Rochester with another turnover from Twin Lakes. I think it's her second one tonight. Yes. And uh, they need to they capitalize on the first one, an interception. Now they need to capitalize on this one to try and break it open a little bit. Zebras break the huddle with eight on the play clock. They're going to have to hurry. First and ten at the, row, at the Twin Lakes, 36. Back to passes, hunting. Looks right, throws right, throws to Bennett. Down the middle of the field, incomplete. 
No flags. Nice uh, defensive play by Bennington down low, breaking that play up, or down there, I should say, down the field, uh, around the 10-yard line. It'll be second down and 10. And, and you know what? That's what Rochester might have to go to. Twin Lakes oh, is doing yeah. a great job controlling the line of scrimmage. There is no running room there unless it's Beck pulling one way or the other with a blocker of uh, Hattishell in front of him. Yeah, you're right. They're, Twin Lakes is fast on the corners. They're not allowing anything outside. They've strung a lot of jet sweeps and reverses to the sideline. Second down and 10 from the Twin Lakes, 36. Quick snap, Hattishell, make that uh, heck of, uh, make that Hattishell. That is right up the middle. And he crosses the 35 down to around the 33, a gain of three. It'll be third down and seven. With nine and a half minutes to play, in the third quarter, Rochester up 24 to 21. Brad well, Thomas, Travis Watering, I'm David Musselman. If we can get another three, four yards, you give Wilson Lee a shot of about a 40 yard field goal. Okay. I'm, I'll, I'll jump on that, jump on that bandwagon. 10 seconds of the play, cock out of the shotgun is hunting. Back to pass is John, looks left, throws left, looking for Hackathorn is complete, and he shakes the tackler. That's Hattishell, wow. and Hattishell gets close to the sticks. Second effort gets him close to a first down. Great job by Hattishell. He got hit right as he caught it, and he was a good three yards short when he caught it. And second effort, third effort, is going to get him first down. first down. I think hits an understatement. He got drilled there. Yeah. Yeah. He I don't know how he stayed on his feet. That's a kidney shot. Yeah. First and 10 for Rochester at the Twin Lakes 26-yard line. Nine minutes to play, third quarter. Rochester up 24-21. Split backs for hunting. Here's a pitch going to Beck, going left. Beck lowers his head and runs over a couple of Twin Lakes tacklers inside the 20. And he's going to be close to another first down. Oh, we saw a couple of runs like that wow. this year already. Yeah. Beck is just putting his head down and plowing people over. He's going to get eight. And the ball is now at the 18. Second down and two with 8.45 to play in the third quarter. Again, Rochester up 24 to 21. Just give that to Beck two more times, three more times. And well, you know as well as I do, that's going to happen again yeah. because Coach Kelly does not change something that's working. You're right. And the same formation. Hunting under center. Pitches to Beck going left. Got a blocker in front. Beck has a first down. Turns it upfield. Beck still second effort. Gets him inside the 15. And he's going to be really close to the 12. But more importantly for the Zebras, like Brad said, it'll be first and 10. 8.23 to play in the first, uh, in, in the third quarter, I beg your pardon, actually giving the 13. Well, now we're on that left hash mark. We'll see, see him run it to the wide side of the field where he's got room to get outside. Both of those runs, I think he's got room to keep going left and uh, as he goes upfield. They're going to go to two tight ends, straight team backfield. Heckathorn gets the carry. Heckathorn cuts it upfield. He's inside the five. There's a flag in the play. Yep, we got to have, have a holding. That's coming back. He gets music. it to the three, and it'll be a hold on the Zebras. Gosh, you can't you shoot yourself in the foot here. Wabash leads Manchester 21-7. to Wow, that's surprising to me. Yeah. Casting over Seeger, 18 to nothing. Whitco over Belmont, 14-3. to Peru leads McConaughey 21 to 20. Southwood over Fremont 42 to nothing. I think I just got a feeling that we could see Southwood and either Pioneer or Winnemac in the semi-state. That's possible. It's very possible. That'd be a great game. I said C Valley's beating CMA 13 to 6. CMA's beating Valley 13 to 6. Southern Wells 29, North Miami 14. So the Zebras will try again on first down from the Twin Lakes 23-yard line. Yep. First and 20 for the Zebras. Split backs. Hecathorn flanker to the left. Quick snap. Hecathorn shakes the tackler. Make that. Hecathorn, yep. Cuts it back inside of the 15, the 10. Hecathorn slips the tackler again. Is brought down at about the 8-yard line. A great run for Jay Hecathorn. Takes the ball inside the 10, down to around the 8. 15 yards on the run by Heckathorn. And that'll bring up second down and 10, or make that second down and five. And was that music out in front of him? I was going to say, as hard as he could. The line right now is, the line's doing an outstanding job right now. Yeah, well, there I might think, have been a little extra effort I'm there. I'm thinking they might have been challenged a little bit there at <laughs> halftime. <laughs> second and five for Rochester at the Twin Lakes eight. Shane, tight left, split backs for hunting. John, pitches to Beck going left. Wes Beck looking for the edge. Slips inside it, the block, oh. carries it down to around the one or two. 
Yeah, he gets it inside the five. Where are they going to mark that? At about the two-yard line. Two yard line. Give him six yards. It'll be third and goal from the – nope, first and goal from the two. I thought Beck was going to make it to the goal line. He got tripped up as he – he cut through two Rochester blockers well, out there on the corner, and I thought he had a, had a, 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 an alley to the goal line. He just got tripped up. I thought he was going to go to the corner, but he saw a little running yeah. lane. He stopped and just kind of cut it back a little bit and cut it upfield. So Rochester with 10 on the play clock, first and goal from the two. Beck again, left side. Pushing ahead to the pile, maybe to the one. It'll be second and goal from the one. Six and a half to play in the third quarter. Rochester up 24-21. Now I think you just keep running back. What are we? And John, John Hunting goes to the sideline. That kind of confused me a little bit. Hunting was going to the sideline to get the play. And now we'll bring it back to the line of scrimmage, or back to the huddle. Rochester has a second and goal from the one-yard line. Give it a 22 again. Absolutely. Everybody in tight. Full house backfield, hunting under center. Oh, Beck, oh, oh, Beck jumped. Yep. Yep. Yeah, they did call it, finally. It was a late call, but they called it. There's going to be a false start on West Beck, so that'll back him up five. So it'll be second and goal from the six. Beck, e Beck was the late blocker yeah. there, too. Everybody set, and uh, Beck with the little rock. Little rock back and forth. Six minutes to play in the third quarter. Rochester up 24-21. That's the second penalty inside the 10-yard line. On this Zebra, drive. On this drive. Third penalty of the night. And they'll go back to the two tight ends. Kissler tight right. Bennett tight left. Full house backfield for the Zebras on second and goal from the six. Hecathorn goes in motion to the left side. Here's a snap. Pitch to Beck going left. West Beck cuts it back inside. Met at the five hard. And that's about it. Maybe two yards. It'll be third and goal from about the five. Give him a yard. Five and a half to play in the third quarter. Boy, what do you do here? Pass. I think, third you, down, I think you have I, to. I think you about have to try and hit Bennett out here on, on the wide seat. side of the field. Run a, run a rollout option kind of deal. Give him one short, one deep. Well, see what you can do. They're going to go to a two tight end, full house backfield set. Third down and goal from the five. Here's the snap. Here's the carry to Hattachel. Hattachel's hit and drop for no gain. It'll be fourth and five. Or fourth and goal from the five. Same difference. Yep. Five minutes to play, third quarter. Rochester up 24-21. The Zebras will look at third, uh, make that fourth and goal from the five. And will they go for it or will they bring on Wilson Lee? I think you have to go for it. What's well, three points to put you up by six? It's still down. I mean, Rochester will go for it. The offense will stay on the field. Fourth and goal from the five. The Twin Lakes crowd. Cheering their kids on. Both crowds on their feet. Bennett wide to the right side. Hecathorn split left, split backs for hunting. Back to pass is John. Throws in the back of the end zone to Hecathorn. It is complete. Caught. Touchdown. Cut. Out of oh. bounds. Oh. He caught it out of bounds. Ooh. Great effort by Jay Hecathorn. He's arguing his point with the referee, but the referee right there to make the call calls him out. So Rochester turns it over on downs. The, penalty, or the uh, fumble does not hurt Twin Lakes. But they do start on their own five, going to our left. Wow, that is huge. And the penalties hurt Rodgers. Yep. The holding play on the from the 11-yard line backs him up to the 20, and then the offsides penalty at the two yard at the one or two-yard line. First and ten for Twin Lakes at their five. Good low behind Bennington, who's in the pistol. From the five, Bennington stands on the goal line, takes a snap, low snap, gives to Good low right up the middle. Good low fights for yards, gets to the 10. Uh, cut down shy of the team, giving the nine, but it'll pick up four. It'll be second down and six. Well, you know, Goodlow's going to be uh, holding on out, out to avenge yeah. that fumble that almost cost him a touchdown. Second down and six for Twin Lakes at their own six yard, uh, nine yard line from the uh, pistol. Bennington on the option, flips to Goodlow. Goodlow then met by Hecathorn at the five and dropped for a loss. Nice job by Jay Hecathorn. Going for the feet. He's not going to let Goodlow get around. Uh -huh. him. So it'll be third down. And 10 after a four yard loss, third and 10 from the Twin Lakes five. Where's number three? There he is, Bryce Bennington. Remember the first half of the, uh, we're coming to an end of the oh, first half. Absolutely, two yeah. fantastic catches. 50 some yards and two catches. Look out. Third down and 10. I wonder if Blake goes in the huddle and just says, Bryce, get open. Yeah, and Bryce will be in the slot to the uh, right side. From the pistol, Blake Bennington with good low behind him. Takes a snap on the option. Blake Bennington right up the middle. Bennington, switch and tackler. He's got a first down to the 30. 
and is ran out of bounds at his own 45, a huge gain of 40 yards for the quarterback, Blake I Bennington. I don't understand what Rochester's trying to do when they try to tackle, but three different guys hit Bennington, and all three of them looked as though they were trying to grab the football out of his arms instead of trying to make a tackle. You, you just nailed it. All three of them tried to force a fumble there instead of getting that fourth and so they, long. Yeah, they, they give up uh, 40 yards on the run. 40-yard pickup by the quarterback, Bennington, and it's first and 10 for the Twin Lakes at their own 45. Back to pass is Bennington. Looks to the right, runs away from pressure. Off his back foot, throws it up for grabs. It is incomplete. Oh, good job. Tipped around Abbott. by Abbott as Bryce Bennington probably could, got away with a pass interference as he pushed Abbott in the back as that ball was coming down. Blake Bennington, very lucky that wasn't picked off. Yeah, Brett Abbott uh, did a great job. That's Blake Bennington's first incomplete pass of the night. First, uh, make that second and 10 for the Indians at their own 45-yard line. 3.21 to play in the third quarter. Rochester up 24-21. to 21. Ball in the near hash. The Indians going to our left. And Twin Lakes, Destino you know, again on their horses to try and get another score on the books. Good low behind Bennington in the pistol. On the option, good low keeps it or grabs the handoff and is driven backwards. J great job by the Zebras that time. Schaefer was there. Also, music was there. And Brett Abbott was there, I believe, as well. Goodlow's going to lose a yard. It'll be third down and 11 or three minutes to play in the third quarter. Well, now you don't know if they're going to pass or on the option again. Why would you run, Why would you pass? On, on third and 10 from your own five, you run a quarterback keeper and you get 40. That's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Goodlow comes out of the game. And we've got a new tailback. That's not even uh, Page in the game right now. We'll have to get that number. I believe it might be four, uh, 30 in Roberts. Out of the pistol. And a mix up in the backfield. There's a pass. It is incomplete. And what turned what was supposed to be an option play with Roberts and Bennington going to the right. Roberts went left. Bennington went right. He looked back to pitch, and he's like, uh-oh. So basically, just... Grounded it, yeah. and now we're going to have an intentional grounding. And a late flag on the Rochester bench. Sideline warning on the Zebras. No. Yep. That's uh, just a coach, warning. Coach Zayner arguing he thought it should be intentional grounding as well. He's going to pick up a warning yep. from the officials. So it'll be fourth down and 11. Sideline warning on the uh, Zebras. It'll be fourth down and 11, and the punting unit on for uh, Twin Lakes. Watch Back deep at second thorn. Watch for the fake. Well, good news is there's no up. I mean, it's three linemen you're yeah. up, man, so. You're not getting through that wall, no. but fortunately, you're not going to fake it, you wouldn't think. Snap goes to the punter. Hibbets gets it away. Nice spiral kick. Hecathorn's going to let it bounce at the 20, and it's going to come to rest at the 16-yard line. So Rochester dodges the bullet, not getting that ball into the end zone from about the five. After a turnover, they'll take over this series at their own 16-yard line. So the Rochester offense back on the field for the Zebras. They had a great job, a good effort, the last possession that they had on the football. They just couldn't get it in the end zone. Now uh, they'll come back out starting at their own 16-yard line. Yeah, that last drive was very disappointed. They had the ball first or at the two-yard line, back-to-back -back penalties. It was just not what you wanted. Yeah. Now, I mean, at least they held them the and they get the ball back yeah. again. Now they're just traveling, for, what, 80 yards instead of... 30 what they had last time. 2.23 to play in the third. Rochester up 24-21 from their own 16. Hunty takes the snap. Hands off to Beck right up the middle. Beck, not a lot there. Maybe two. Give him the 18. It'll be second and eight. Clock rolls. 2.15 to play in the third. Rochester up 24-21. Well, Rochester really hasn't been able to grind anything out against Twin Lakes tonight. Their, their uh, touchdowns have all come on what you would call back page plays from the playbook. Yeah. The double reverse yeah, and the half page. back passes. Schoolyard plays. Yeah. I mean, Kissler not even, hasn't t caught very many passes their, this year. To their credit, they've worked, but <laughs> you hate to have that be the crutch of your offense. Third, uh, second down. Hecathorn in motion to the far side. Hecathorn gets the carry on the, uh, on the end around, fighting for yards. Nothing yeah. there. It'll be third and eight. Well, the counter just didn't work. The, the blocks weren't there. The hole didn't open up, and Hecathorn just tried to do the best he could to get something out of nothing. Yeah. That, that's why they're having to do trick plays. Those, I mean, they're running. Other than well, that 180 yarder and that yeah. West Bank, the run's not working. The Twin Lakes is just so big up front; it's hard to move anybody out of a gap 
and they're so quick everywhere else on the corners and at the linebacker positions that it's hard to outrun them to the corner. We've and said so it, yeah. a lot of misdirection. The Zebras have been using a lot of misdirection that they, as, as much as they can tonight. Third and seven out of the shotgun is hunting. Here's the snap, back to pass. Looks left, looks left. Pulls it down, throws it to the near side and just throws it out of bounds. Intended for Hecathorn. It'll be fourth down and seven. Nice job by Blake uh, Bennington on that far side defending Bennett. The pass was designed to go to Bennett. Hunting was looking his way the entire way. Pumped, nothing there. Yeah. Basically just threw it over the head of Hecathorn. Incomplete, it'll be fourth and seven, and West Beck will have to punt it away. And that's why the longer this game goes on, the, the running game for Rochester's having a tougher and tougher time is because we've not been able to establish any kind of a passing uh, sequence. Richardson back deep to receive the punt. Quinn Lakes is going to get in great field position here. Beck, oh, oh, off the side of his foot. That's going to go out of bounds at about the 32-yard line of the Zebras. Boy, when you needed a big punt right there, it went off the foot of uh, Beck, and they're going to start at the 30. Twin Lakes will start this drive at the Rochester 30. Wow. Uh, 31. 54.9 to play in the third quarter. Rochester up 24-21, and Twin Lakes will start this drive at the Rochester 31-yard line. You've got a dangerous, quick-scoring offense, and you give them a short field. That's really going to put the pressure on the Rochester defense. Caston leads Seeger 24 to 8 with 2.30 in the third. Five receivers now for Twin Lakes. The only one in the backfield out of the pistol is Bennington. Roberts goes in motion to the right side on the option. The keeper by Bennington right at the middle. Bennington hit by Abbott, holds on for dear life as he gets it to the third, uh, 25, giving six. It'll be second and four. The Winnemac score is 64 to 0 over West Central final. Blake Winnemac. Blake Bennington, six, 106 yards rushing on nine carries. Winnemac more than likely will play Whiting next week at home. Number three Whiting in Class 1A. Second down and four for Twin Lakes with 25 seconds to play in the third quarter. Good low back there with Bennington now who's in the uh, pistol. He gets to carry it up the middle. Good low, carries the ball down to around the 22. That's going to be close to a first down. Clock continues to roll under 10 to play in the third. And more than likely, Twin Lakes will walk to the other end. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. After three, Rochester leading 24-21. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. Call 574-223-7541 for more information. 35-26 over Tipton. Wishes good luck to the RHS football team in tonight's sectional game. We go to the fourth and final quarter here at Twin Lakes High School. The Zebras clinging to a 24-21 lead. Twin Lakes, as we start the fourth, will have it third and one at the Rochester 22. The Wabash leads Manchester 21-7. CMA leads Valley 20-12. Peru leads McQuanacaw 28-20. Lewis Cass leads Tipton 35-26. Jimtown leads uh, Fairfield 35 to 0 and the winner of that game faces the winner of tonight's game and Southern Wells leads North Miami 29 to 7 29 14 29 14 third and one for the Indians at the Rochester 22 Bennington will be in the uh, under center high formation with and goes to Page Page is met by the safety for Rochester Abbott and Page carries the troops into the to around the 10 yard line, he picks up 12 on third and one, so it's about first and goal now wow. for the Zebras, or for the Twin Lakes at the Rochester 10. Defensively, Rochester lined up with everybody over the center and on the right side. They had a big hole on the left side. Page found it. Page again off the right side. He's caught at the line of scrimmage, but keeps his legs moving, keeps it chopping, and gets to the six. It'll be second and goal from the six. 11 and a half to play in the game. Rochester up 24 21. Quickly on the ball are the Indians. Out of the eye. Good low dots the eye. Right up the middle is Bennington as he is hit by Beck and dropped. Third and goal from the six. Third and goal from the six for Twin Lakes. Another World Series score update as Kansas City still leaves the Giants 1-0 in the bottom of the fourth. Page comes out of the game. Play comes in from the sideline, so a rare huddle for Twin Lakes with 10.50 to play in the football game. They're looking at third and goal from the six. 
They'll send three receivers to the left, one to the near. Goodlow is the uh, running back behind Bennington, who's in the pistol formation. Here's the snap. Bennington hit and driven backwards. West Beck with the initial contact. It'll be fourth and goal from the seven. Will they tie it? Will they attempt the tie? Or will they go for it? I would fourth go and goal for from it. the seven. If I'm Twin Lakes coach, I'd go for it. you got to feel good about the way they've been running. See, I'm the opposite. I, yeah. And here he comes. I Hibbins can't. coming on to attempt the uh, game tying field goal with 10 15 to play in the third quarter. Rochester up 24 21. Hibbets, who was hitting 50 yard field goals in, at halftime. Yeah, I think this is a give me for This me. will be 25. It's an automatic, yeah. Snap is back, hold is down, kick is away. He's got plenty of leg. It is good. We're tied at 24. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. 9.57 to play in the game. We're tied at 24. Six plays, 23 yards, capped off by a Hibbert 25 yard field goal. They tie the game. Twin Lakes ties the Zebras 24-24 with just under 10 minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Again, the winner of this game probably will get Jimtown next week as they're up comfortably over Fairfield uh, late in that football game. Was it 35 to nothing? Yeah. Wow. Hibbets smokes the ball down the middle of the field over the head of the uh, return uh, returner Hecathorn into the end zone. For, so for the third time tonight, a touchback. And Rochester will start on their own 20. We're tied at 24 with 9.57 to play in the game. So if Rochester wins this football game, we're home next week with Jimtown. Yes. Yes. Twin Lakes wins next week. If Twin Lakes wins this week or this week, tonight, they are on the road at Jimtown. Because Jimtown's at Fairfield tonight. Yes. Yep. First and 10 for the Z's at their own 20. 9.57 to play in the game. We're tied at 24. The Zebras break the huddle with 10 on the play clock. Boy, we have really gotten that play, let that play clock run deep tonight. Two receivers to the right, eye backs for hunting. Hecathorn in motion, make the, make the Hecathorn in motion to the near side. Back to pass is hunting, looking, looking, throwing. It is incomplete. Had a small window to fit that in there to Hecathorn, who was the intended receiver, thrown too low, it'll be second and 10. Now, hunting had a lot of time, so give that Rochester line credit for blocking up front, but uh, he waited about as long as he could possibly wait for somebody to come free. Finally, he thought he had a small window with Hecathorn and just underthrew it. And it was a good, it would have been a good pass if he let that go a little sooner. Yeah. And a little higher in the, in the motion, and Hec uh, uh, Hecathorn has an opportunity to bring that in. Second and 10 from the 20. Hunting under center. John hands off to Hattashell at the middle. Jacob Hattashell. Just nothing there. Pushes a the pile ahead to maybe the 23. It'll be second and seven and a late flag. A late flag. Will that be on the Zebras? The flag was thrown late. Who will that be against? I don't see anybody clapping yet. Must have been a lot of jawing going on. Personal foul, face mask on Twin Lakes. Boy, that is huge. Well, that's going to bail the Zebras out after two plays that gain nothing on a sputtering offense all night long. They're going to get the first down on the penalty. So after they mark the penalty off, it'll be first and 10 for the Zebras at the Twin Lakes 38-yard line. 9.43 to play in the game. We're tied at 24 here at Twin Lakes. Winner of this game will get Jimtown next week. I'm going to go ahead and call that. Is that all right with you, fellas? I yep. think so. I think yeah. you can call that. I'm guessing at this point, Fairfield's probably succeeded. <laughs> first and 10 for the Zebras. Pitch goes to Beck going right, and a boy, a wall of red right in front of him. He's yeah. going to be And he's losing the football. Twin Lakes says they have it. No indication yet. There it is. Oh, it's the players. Nope. We're and top of there it Twin Lakes there has it, it. Beck fumbles the football, and Twin Lakes will take over at well, their own 38-yard line. The first turnover by Rochester tonight, and that might be the killer. 9.21 to play in the game. It'll be first and 10 for Twin Lakes at the Rochester 37-yard line. Another short field for this powerful offense by Twin Lakes. West Beck on the fumble. We're tied at 24. The Indians come out. It'll be first and 10 for Twin Lakes at the Rochester 37-yard line far hash. They'll send three receivers to the right side. The big tight end, Holmes, tight left. Good low. Gets the handoff going up the middle. Good low, second and third effort. Gets him positive yards. He was hit in the backfield. But the second and third effort by 
Uh, Goodlow gets him a yard. It'll be second and nine with 9-10 to play in the ball game. Again, we're tied at 24 here at Twin Lakes. Second and nine at the Rochester 36. Same formation, three white outs to the near side, tight end left. Pistol formation for Bennington. Good low behind him, back to pass is Bennington. Rolls to the near side, lost it to the receiver. It is complete. And Johnson runs it out to the 31, a gain of five. It'll be third down and four. Bennington makes some scary passes. That's two or three times he's just lobbed one up in the air like that. Man, that was, yeah, he put yeah, a lot his, of air into that his one. His receiver was wide open out there on the, on the flats. So even if, you know, even if that ball hangs for 10 seconds, there's nobody <laughs> but his receiver going to catch it. Third down and four for the Indians at the Rochester 31. Ball now in the near hash. They'll send three receivers to the left, one to the near side. Goodlow back there with Bennington, who's in the pistol formation, down to six on the play clock. Down to four, down to three, down to two. There's a snap on the option. Bennington right up the middle. Bennington is hit. At the 26 and tackled, he's got enough for a first down as he gets five on the play. It'll be first down and 10. Out of show on the stop for the out of, or for the for the Zebras. Eight minutes to play in the game. We're tied at 24, and this series for Twin Lakes set up after a West Beck fumble. Actually, giving tw the 25. That was a generous spot. First and 10 for the Indians at the Rochester 25. Out of the pistol again is Bennington. Goodlow behind him. Here's a snap. Goodlow gets the pitch going left. Goodlow is hit in the backfield and dropped. Connor McLaughlin. Con yeah, McLaughlin and Schaefer. And coughing there to stop Goodlow for a loss of two. It'll be second and 12. You have to be careful about calling him down before the referee blows the whistle. <laughs> yeah, and I don't think he thought he was down there. No, he didn't. He's pretty good at trying to keep his balance. He comes out of the game. And Page comes in as the new tailback. Second down and 12. 7-10 to play in the game. We're tied at 24. Page right up the middle. Page hesitates, gets a couple of blocks, carries it across the 25 to the 24, giving three. Third down and nine. Seeger strikes against Caston. They go for two and convert it. Caston leads 24-16 going into the fourth quarter. Third and nine for the Indians at the Rochester 24. We're tied at 24 with 6.35 to play in the game. Indians have it third and, and uh, nine at the Rochester 24 yard line. Three receivers left, one to the right, ball in the middle of the field. Bennington in the pistol, gets the snap, back to pass, looks left, looks left, here comes the pressure, steps up, it is gonna be hit and draw for a sack at the 30. He's gonna lose six. Connor McLaughlin again. Nice job by the Rochester defense. Not only did they get the sack, but they did a great job downfield taking away Bennett's, yes. Bennington's receivers. Fourth and 15. Look at this, fellas. Here in comes Hibbett. Oh, we know. They're yeah. going to snap it from the 30, which is this is going to make this about a 47-yard field goal attempt, I'm guessing. Well, Maybe we, a 46. We saw him knocking down 50-yarders at the halftime. This is going to make this a 49. Good heavens. This is going to make this a 49-yard field goal attempt for Hibbett's. Ball in the middle of the field for the lead. A 49-yard field goal attempt by a sophomore. Snap is back. Hold is down. Kick is into it. He's got plenty of leg. It's on the way. It is no good. Wide to the right. He had plenty of leg. Wide to the right. First and 10 for the Zebras. And you said it three times. The kick had plenty. Yeah, he had the leg. Plenty of leg. Just missed it to the side. And you know what? He missed it to the north of the goalpost, and there's about a six-mile-an-hour southerly wind. So, pushed it. He <laughs> pushed it a little right. That takes nothing away from him, though. I mean, he's still no. an excellent kicker. You can, we, we've watched him during halftime and pregame. He was draining those, but pressure got to him a little bit. So that is a touchback, so Rochester will get it at the 20. Why? I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> Rochester first and 10 at the 20. Their turnover doesn't hurt them. Zebras need to take... This ball of distance. Had a shell at the middle. Nothing there. Nothing there. Second and 10. Nothing there. 5.25 to play in the game. How to shell has gained a total of four yards on his last six carries. They're going to have to go back to the bag of tricks. I just, I'm about to say I hate saying this, but they have to go back to that schoolyard stuff. 
5-10 to play in the game. We're tied at 24 here at Twin Lakes. Rochester Worst second and 10 from the 20. Worst thing about the trick plays is their high risk, and the higher the and risk, the more there is for trouble. And how many times in a game can it actually work? Can you right. do it four times? High backs for hunting. John fakes a handoff, rolls to the right, steps up. He hit while he throws. It's picked off by the Indians at the 20, at the 15, at the 10, at the 5, and right out of bounds at the 4-yard line. First and goal for Twin Lakes at the Rochester 4. Boy, you knew something bad like that was bound to happen. Rochester... Just not able to keep the bigger, stronger players from Twin Lakes out of that backfield. That time they hit Hunting just as he's throwing it. The ball's a wounded duck floating short, way short of the receiver. First and goal for the Indians after the interception at the four-yard line. The ball in the far hash. And, whoa, this is interesting. We've got Page and Goodwill in the bow game. They'll run out of the pie formation. No. No trickery here. They're just going to run it right down our throats. Blake Bennington under center. Eye backs behind him. Bennington takes a snap. Gives to Page. Tries hard for, to get to the three. Maybe to the two. It'll be second and goal from the two. Good job by Connor McLaughlin again. He's made some big defensive stops here this last couple minutes of the game. Four and a half to play in the game. Twin Lakes looking for the go-ahead score here. Second and goal from the two. Eye back formation for the Indians. Bennington under center. Takes the snap. Gives to Page again. Stood up at the line of scrimmage. Driven backwards. Nothing there. Third and goal from the two. Third and goal from the two. 4.15 to play in the game. 24 to 24. Twin Lakes has it. Third and goal from the two yard line. And then we'll send in some receivers here and we'll spread it out again. Page will come out of the game. Probably still limping a little bit from that earlier injury. Under four to play in the game. Third and, four, third and goal from the, the two yard line for Twin Lakes. They'll go, they'll run out of the pistol. Good low behind Bennington. 345 to play in the game. From the two, Bennington pitches it out to Good low. Oh, oh, it drove balls loose. Looks like the Indians fell on it though. Twin Lakes falls on it, but it'll be fourth and goal from the uh, seven or eight yard line. Wow. And here comes Hibbets again. That ball bounced around at the feet of a couple of Rochester Zebras. They just couldn't stop their momentum and fall on it. A loss of six yards. It'll be fourth and goal from the eight. 3.15 to play in the game. Hibbets will attempt a 26-yard field goal to put his Indians up by three with 3.11 to play in the game. Page is the holder. Hibbets ready, kicking from the near hash. Snap is back. Hold is down. Kick is blocked. That's a lot Kick is ball. blocked. The Indians will fall on it. And the oh, ball still up. Is picked up by Twin Lakes. He's around the far side. Wilson Lee brings him down to the 20. Wow. Brett Abbott? Brett Abbott, Abbott yeah. around the right corner. Got his right mid on it. The ball then deflected all the way back to the Rochester, or to the Twin Lakes, I'm sorry, to the Rochester 35. Bennington picked it up and then returned it back to the 19-yard line. So that's where Rochester will start this drive with 2.48 to play in the game. Wow, we are tied at 24. Huge. <laughs> huge. Tippecanoe <laughs> Valley and CMA are now tied at 20. Rochester on the football. Eye backs behind Hunting. The run game has been non-existent in this half. From the 19, Hunting pitches out to Hattashell going to the near side. Hattashell cuts it in the block. Hattashell the 25, the 30, the 35. Cut down at the 37-yard line. First and 10 for the Zebras. Great job by Wes Beck. He was his lead blocker and took out a guy and gave Hattashell all the grain in the world. Bryce Bennington was the corner on this near side, and he's that boy is tired. Look at him, number three. Oh, Bryce yeah. Bennington is tired. I thought you were talking about the guy at the 50 standing there. <laughs> well, that's his brother Blake. That's why, yeah, I didn't, yeah. First and 10 for the Zebras. At their own 37-yard line, two and a half to play in the game. Rochester has two timeouts left. With 12 on the play clock, Bennett will go wide to the right side. Abbott, your flanker to the left side. Eye backs for hunting. Bennett goes in motion to the right. Here's the snap. Pitch to Hattashell going right. Has a blocker. Cuts it upfield. Hattashell down the far sideline to the 50, the 45, the 40, the 35, the 30. Trying to outrun the defense, and he's pushed out inside the 25-yard line. First and 10 for the Zebras. Nice job by the Rochester right side of their offensive line. Jake Hattashell running just as hard and as fast as he can, just trying to stay a half a step ahead of Bennington. The Peru Tigers beats the McConaughey Braves tonight 28-20. Are you kidding me? 
First and 10 for the Rochester Zebras 41. at the Twin Lakes 22 yard line. 41 yards on the game by Hattishow. 2.09 to play in the game. Bennett comes wide to the left side. And we are in field goal range, you think? Oh, yeah. Flanker to the right is Hattishell. Goes in motion to the left. This is going to be, and then we're going to have a timeout by the Zebras. The Zebras will take a timeout. We'll take a 30 as well. We're tied at 24. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. Two minutes, nine seconds to play in regulation. We are tied at 24, and all of a sudden, we're in Wilson Lee territory. One yeah. timeout left remaining for the Zebras yep. as well. And I think they'll save that for the opportunity to kick the field goal, so I would look for them to, to run everything towards the sideline. Jet sweeps, uh, counters. This would be, if they would kick it from here, if they don't gain another yard, this would be about a 39-yard field goal attempt for Wilson Lee. Well, you're, it's first and 10 from the 22. Just run it. Try and get your first down. You're picking up five, six yards. Hell, we picked up 41 and 17 on the last two. Split backs to Rochester. <laughs> Heckethorn to Flager to the left. Hunting under center. Heckethorn goes in motion. Right in the bat snap, and Hunting falls on the ball. Second and yeah, 10 from the 22. Keep, keep possession. That's key number one. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, uh, a Wabash Manchester update. Wabash beats Manchester 21 to 7. It is Wabash's first sectional win since 1996. Wow. Thank Great you, Val. Wal Great for Wabash. Second down and 10 for the Zebras at the Twin Lakes 22 yard line. Clock rolls a minute 40 to play in the game. Rochester taking as much time as they can off the clock here. They need to probably get a couple of more yards to feel safe with Wilson Lee. We got a wide side to the left. We're on the jet sweep. Heckathorn comes in motion to the near side. Here's a snap. Pitch goes to Hattishell coming to the near side. Hattishell jumps over a blocker, cuts it upfield to the 20, and gets down to the 15-yard line. A gain of seven. seven yards. It'll be third down and three with a minute 15 to play in the game. I like it. Do it again. Ball at the 15 of Twin Lakes. A minute 10 to play in the game. Say it again. Yeah, coughing. Lane coughing the lead block there. Yeah, left side. Under a minute to play in the game. 15 on the play clock. Bennett goes wide to the right side. Heckathorn to flanker to the right. Split backs for hunting. Down to eight. Here's the pitch to Beck. West Beck going right. West Beck looking to the outside. He cuts it upfield. West Beck first is running out of bounds at about the 11-yard line. It'll be first and goal at the 40, with 45 seconds to play in the game. Great job by West Beck. He knows he's got to get to the sidelines. 45.7 to play in the game. It'll be first and goal for the Zebras. Just across the 10. Not quite the 9, but not the 10 either. Westbeck knows he's got to get the first down. He knows he's got to get to the sideline. We're going to get in the middle of the field. Yeah. Yeah. The, Run it back this direction yep. towards the middle of the field. Go for the score if you can, but call that timeout with about five seconds on the, on the board. Ball's on the far hash. Rochester will need to run it right to get to the middle of the field. Flanker to the left is, I'm sorry, right to the left. Heckathor, or make the how to shell gets it. He falls across the 10. And now we're going to have a timeout by Twin Lakes. Twin Lakes will use a timeout. We'll take a 30 as well. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. 40.8 seconds to play in regulation. We're tied at 24. Rochester, after a couple of foot run there by how to shell, has a second and goal from the nine. This is going to come down to a young man that couldn't hit a 10-yard field goal early in the season who's now booming them. It's going to come down to a kick to win this bad boy. And Love it. I'm excited Love for him. It. And he was hitting 30 and 40 yards before yeah. the game. I'm excited for him. And he's already got a 30-yarder in this They're game. They're going to go to two tight end, straight tee backfield. Nothing fancy here. Huh, uh, snap. Heckathor, uh, Heckathorn looking for the end zone. He's at the five, at the four. Hang he's on to the ball. Push, still man. pushing the fly pile ahead to the three. And actually gets down to the four. It'll be third and goal from the four. Clock runs with 25. Clock still running with 23. Rochester going to let it get down to the, as far as they can. It'll be third and goal from the four. Third and goal from the four with 13. Better with 11. Hurt. They're running the play. Nope. Oh. All time out from the Coach Sainter going to call it his last time out. Yep. He's going to kick Sainter it. Coach uses the final time out with nine seconds of play in the game. He's we'll keep it, it right here. He's going to kick it now. He's got to. But it doesn't much matter. Does, I mean, does he have to go? Go to the air real quick. No, no. No, no, way. no, no. You no don't way. want to turn it over. This isn't the NFL. Yeah, but. No way. Wilson Lee will come on 
with an opportunity to put the Rochester Zebras up. They will snap the ball from the four. It will snap the ball from the near hash, which means Wilson Lee will have to kick it a little right. What's he got? Just a little more than an extra point, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a 21-yard field goal attempt. Wilson Lee is on the sidelines. They're, go they're doing one more play. Hey, reset to 11. 11 seconds. They added two more seconds on. So, obviously, Rochester will... Watch it. This is going to have to be a pass. They're out, of, time. Rochester order, out of timeouts. In order to stop the clock, it'll unless, have to twin, be, unless he's going to spike it. Twin but I, don't see the the timeout. I don't see the point in spiking it. Rochester go. Their final timeout, or out of timeouts. They're going to the straight tee backfield. And now another stoppage. And now Twin Lakes will take a timeout. We'll take a 30. You're listening to Zebra doing? Football, 92.1 WROI. 11 seconds to play in the game. Rochester has it third and goal from the four. And they're going they're for going it. To, they're going to go for it. They are out of timeouts. Rochester out of timeouts are going to come on with two tight ends, one to the right, one to the left, straight T backfield. Hunting's going to have to pass this. John, under center. Back to pass. Looking to the back. There he is. Wide open end zone. It's Kissler. Touchdown. touchdown. Zebras. Michael Kissler. Touchdown, Zebras. I didn't. Wow. Nice job by the Zebras. I, wow. Boy, talk about your gutsy play. Hunting six, what was that, four-yard <laughs> touchdown pass to Kistler, who was wide open in the back of the end zone. Wow. Well, Kistler has his first passing touchdown of his career and receiving touchdown of his career. Good for him. 30-24. Wilson, Wilson Lee on to attempt the extra point to put the Zebras up. By seven, snap his back, hold his down, kick his away. It, it looks good. There it, it is. It is good. 31-24, Zebras, you're listening to Rochester Football, 92.1 WROI. 6.6 .6 to play in the game. Rochester now up 31-24. Back deep. Wow. Both Bennington twins. Also back deep is Page. So the chance of a skilled player, a fast skilled player, uh, is it, getting this football is very very good. Yeah, kick it, kick it out of. However, they're going to keep sidelines. kicking it. They're going to keep making this kick. Yeah, just kick it towards the sideline. Keep it in, but kick it towards the sideline. Wilson Lee, with Rochester up by seven and six seconds, squibs it down the middle. Great kick. Picked up by Twin Lakes, and they just down it at the 33 yard line with 4.8 to play in the game. Wow. You know, before we get to any further, Rochester up by seven right now with 4.8 to play in the game. I will be the first to apologize to Coach Mike Zayner. Yeah, no kidding, me too. <laughs> <laughs> As we're out of timeouts with 11 seconds to play in the football game, and I'm thinking, what are we, what are we doing? <laughs> I agree, I agree with you. I, I didn't like the call, it was gutsy as all get out, but he, I he made it, it work. <laughs> he, Hunting, Kistler, and the entire offensive line, they made it work. 4.8 seconds to play in the game. Rochester up 31 to 24. Twin Lakes will have the football first and 10 at their own 33-yard line. And now the Indians will take their final timeout of the game. We'll take a 30. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. 4.8 seconds to play in the game. Rochester leads 31-24. Twin Lakes out of timeouts. First and 10 at their own 33-yard line. Zebra's rushing three, seven back. Blake Bennington back to pass. Looks right. Got a man in the middle. Goes down the middle of the field. Interception. Picked Interception. off by Abbott. Red Abbott. Abbott will pick it off and will fall down. The Zebras win. The Zebras. Wow. Managed to pull this one out wow. late. 31 24. We'll face Jimtown next week at home in the semifinal round of the Class 3A sectional. The Zebras pull this one out 31 24. What a game. Post game show coming up next 92.1 WROI.